We all come in this room with different baggage along the way. You look around and everybody looks like they got it together. I know a lot of you. You do not have it together. I want to point this out to you. A lot of you know that my mom actually got pregnant when she was 14 years old. Had me when she was 15, and by the grace of God, I stand here today. I'm thankful that I was able to have life in a situation where many people do not get that joy. And over the next years, my mom was blessed with more children. But the queen of the house was my sister, Paige. She was the baby, to the point that we called her literally Miss Paige. You didn't backtalk Miss Paige. You didn't question Miss Paige. She ruled the household. And so we kind of worshiped the ground she walked on. And all that came to a very devastating climax when Paige got pregnant at the age of 15. By the way, this story's never been told. I talked to my sister this morning, and over the past uh, year, she's been on a journey of healing through this. And so she gave me permission to share it this morning because she's getting ready to share it as well publicly. And she thought her big brother might could help lead the way. So I'm doing that this morning. Anyway, Paige uh, found herself pregnant at the age of 15, and mom, having traveled that same journey, shaped the days that would follow. And Paige had an abortion before any of us could intervene to stop it. And it was something that was never talked about in our house. Although it was known to have happened. And I watched over the years as Paige struggled to get her footing back under herself. She struggled through marriages and she struggled through issues of a lack of self-worth, all these things that this beautiful child who had been just lifted up and exalted for so long had been taken away during this period in her life. And so over the years, she went through marriages and looking for self-esteem. But a few years back, she met, this, she met this wonderful man who loves her and allowed her to bring all of that brokenness to that relationship and to love her for who she was and the mistakes that were made. And over the past year, she's become active in a crisis pregnancy center as she's worked to bring healing into her life. And in just a couple weeks, she's actually filming a video where she's going to tell the story about having the abortion and tell the story of how she came to the cross and found redemption and salvation and forgiveness through the blood of Jesus. Something that was propelled much forward just a couple weeks ago when they allowed her to have a memorial service at the Crisis Pregnancy Center for this little baby some 28 years ago removed from the abortion. You see, I don't know all of you in this room, but I know this, you come in here this morning with all kind of baggage. And what I'm here to tell you is that the Jesus that we serve, the God of the universe, the one that we sing every praise to, the one that is holy, 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 loves you in spite of where you've been. And he will take all of the, the damage in your life and put it under the blood of his son, Jesus Christ. And you will find hope as you have never experienced before. Are you tired of chasing pretty rainbows? And are you tired of spinning round and round? Wrap up all the shattered dreams of your life. And at the feet of Jesus, lay them down. Give them all, give them all, give them all to Jesus. Your shattered dreams, your wounded hearts, and your broken toys. Give them all, give them all. Give them all to Jesus. And he will turn your sorrows into joy.
He never said you'd only see sunshine. And he never said there would be no rain. He only promised a heart full of singing. About the very things that once brought pain. Give them all, give them all, give them all to Jesus. Your shattered dreams, your wounded hearts, and your broken toys. Give them all, give them all, give them all to Jesus, and he will turn your sorrows into joys. Yes, he will turn your sorrows. Joy.